Hello kids, how are you? Big Papa here on a Saturday morning. And uh, I got the urge to cook some ribs. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we got a little bit of sugar in the sweet money, but everything else is pretty straight. And we're gonna pull the membrane on them and trim them up. So now, this is Chairman's Reserve. I just wanna square them up. This is really not a beautiful thing here, so we're gonna get rid of it. Now, you can save this stuff. You can cook it, just throw it on the cooker with it, and it's rib tips and snacks. Here's the thing that always is funny about membranes. There's a, uh, there's a curse about pulling the membranes, and if you're being filmed, no matter how many thousands you've done, you'll screw it up. Let me see if I keep that going there. So I've done is just take some basic paper towel. But to pull the membrane, I come in here, I take that. I like these. Things you look for on ribs right here, it's called styration. What you have, that thing's a little white marks here. That's fat, and fat is moisture, fat is flavor. So one down, comes another one, big boy. This one, see I'm just reaching with that pen and pulling, see I can, pulling that membrane up, I don't know if you can see that. Enough so where I got the whole thing. So I'm creeping back towards the end. I got it. I pull it. Is that critical? It's done. So one more and then we'll start seasoning. Couple things when, you, um, when you're cooking ribs. Number one, I'm gonna be cooking these at 275. Yes, I'm gonna be cooking on the Big Papa drum, which is a really fun thing where you can turn a 50 cal 55 gallon uh, barrel into a smoker that wins world championships. Now, what I'm feeling here is I'm going through, and this is thick here and thin here as usual. Now, cook all of it, but for the rack, I'm gonna trim this off here. So one of the things about these drum ribs is they're really quick, really quick. And so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna start on the back side. Let's do the hallelujah ones first. This is my jalapeno seasoning salt. You all know it, you all love it. You all can't live without it, I hope. So this is a beautiful blend of black pepper, jalapeno, garlic, and all the ingredients in seasoning salt. Now, if you notice, you see a lot of guys doing videos, or girls, and you see them using uh, mustard as a binder. Um, I think if you, I think that's fine. First of all, anything you do that gives you food you like is fine. But to me, I don't like binders, and I don't like mustard. They say you can't taste it, but I don't like it. So what I do is, I give myself enough time. This is all about giving yourself time, okay? So I give myself enough time to let the salt interact with the juices of the meat and create what I call a, a glow or a shine. And you don't need any mustard then. So now here comes the jalapeno lime. And why I'm doing this is I just want that little citrus to come out. Okay, between, so I'm kind of double jal jalapenoing it, but I am adding just a little kisses of, um, of lime, and the reason why I do that is to give you that little mystery kick when you're eating them. Hmm. And you know, because there's there's initial flavors that hit your tongue, and then there's residual taste or the carry on or aftertaste. And so that's what sometimes these little um, Easter eggs I put in there. So here we go. We're gonna let them sit for probably 20 minutes. Okay, the game changer for Big Papa Smokers was when I came up with Sweet Money. Sweet Money, I won the American Royal with. Uh, it's won the Jack Daniels every time, Houston, I mean, several times. It's won everything, but it's also great at home. Fish, chicken, pork. I really like the blend of sweet and heat, savory. So you see, this is primarily a barbecue rub. I don't know if you can tell. It's got a little more paprika for color. So now we're gonna hit it with some Sweet Money Hot. This heat is gonna help the sweetness, but see, I'm not going crazy. A couple things about rub. You want a nice, even thing? Higher. Now, on our third rack, I got to credit a guy from Owasso, Oklahoma, Scott Key, but he used to do what's called trash can ribs on his drum, and it was ribs and desert gold. Thank you, Scott. Checks in the mail.
Now, when they go on, about every half hour, we're going to rotate them on the drum. But we're also going to spritz them with water. I'll see you by the cooker in about 20 minutes. Okay, here's the desert gold rack. Here's your sweet money rack. And here's the hallelujah jalapeno. They look pretty good. So in 30 minutes, I'm going to come out here. I'm going to rotate them. I'm going to flip them over and rotate them. All right, it's been a half hour here. We're going to do, I'm just going to flip them over. Woo! A lot of people use insulated gloves, not me. I'm tough. So there we go. I'm just going to rotate this a little bit. And I'll be back in another half hour. Okay, look at those sweat. They've been on for an hour. Now let's flip it back over. We're going to spritz them, give them a little moisture. And give it just a little more rub now for the carry home. Probably only about a half hour away. Okay, it's been an hour and a half. That's 90 minutes for those who keep it track at home. I'm not even going to check the thermometer. Okay, you want them to bend, not break. They're almost there. This one's actually a little tighter, so I'll move that here. Let's give them another 15 minutes. Okay. Final 10 minutes, maybe eight minutes. Okay, I think we're done. Beautiful bend. Well, here we go. We have the jalapeno, hallelujah rub. We have the desert gold, Scott Key trash can ribs. And we have the sweet money and sweet money hot ones. Let's tear into these. How low your ribs? Nice salt, great heat. Now these are meteor ribs, which is um, I didn't say meteor is an M E T E O R. Meteor, intentionally not fall off the bone. Wonderful. Okay, let's give the sweet money a try. Ooh, Chairman's Reserve, baby. Into my belly. Don't need no stinking sauce. Very happy to the desert gold. Woohoo! Here goes some gorgeous goodness. Fantastic. I'll cut them up and serve them to the neighbors. <laughs>